Are you one of millions of Americans who try to diet? For Australian-born Shauna Reed, who at 23 years old weighed 351 pounds, it was an impossibly lonely task, until she started blogging eight years later. Now over 500,000 people have visited dietgirl.org, and they've given Shauna the support she needed to lose more than half her body weight. She chronicles this in her new book, The Amazing Adventures of Diet Girl, and she's here this morning. Shauna, good morning. Hi, good morning. 351 pounds to? 175. 175 pounds. And how much time? Uh, it took me just over five and a half years. So you did it right. You did it I did, slowly. I took it, took it slow and steady. You weren't one of those people who spent her whole life trying to lose weight and never succeeded. One day you just woke up and said, I'm going to lose weight. Yeah, right? um, it was kind of like a bit of an epiphany, epiphany moment. I was hanging my washing on the line and I hung my, my knickers up on the line next to my sister's and hers were a size six, they were really tiny and lacy and mine were a size 26 and about three times as wide. And I remember standing there looking up the line and thinking, oh, my goodness, I've got the biggest knickers in the world. <laughs> and it was just kind of the wake up moment seeing the evidence right in front of my eyes that I've really got to do something about this. As everybody who struggles with weight knows, deciding to lose weight is the easy part. Actually doing it is incredibly difficult. What helped you? Well, I started out doing Weight Watchers, but um, on my first weigh-in at Weight Watchers, I hopped on the scale and they told me I was 351 pounds. And I think I was the biggest person they'd ever had there because they had to put an extra weight on the scale to make it big enough to carry me. And I was completely devastated. And I thought, I'm going to need something extra to boost my weight loss efforts. So I decided to start a blog. Um, I was someone who'd always kept journals and felt more comfortable writing about my feelings and verbalizing them. So I started this anonymous blog and I wrote, I've got half my body weight to lose. I feel really so lonely and scared. And that's where I started the blog. I bet the last thing you expected was the response that you got on that blog. Yeah, well, at first it was about three people reading, but then over the years, as the weight started to come off and more people started to find me, and soon I had people all over the world cheering me on. And for the first time in my life, for the first time, I felt hope that I could actually do it because I had this little support network that had cropped up around me. And the more I wrote, the more determination I felt to keep going and not give up like I had on my other previous attempts. And you all share uh, ways that you have succeeded. You help each other with your diet plans. You help each other with your exercise plans. It's kind of a, a group... Effort. Yeah, it's kind of like um, anonymous group therapy in a way, but right. you get inspired, but you also get practical ideas. One of my readers was a, a running coach in Italy, and she sent me an email saying, have you ever thought about trying running? Because that was one of the things I'd always dreamed of doing when I got smaller, but she said, don't wait till you're smaller, start now. So I was about 250 pounds, and she actually wrote me a training program, and I trained for a 5K over the internet. Look at that. I love in your book when you talk about your skinny goals. One of them, you say, when you get skinny, you're going to walk up to a guy that catches my eye and say hello and you did that and you met your husband I did and that was something I used to say to myself oh I'm never gonna find love until I'm well maybe a size 14 at the very earliest but as it turned out I was just over 200 pounds and I was in a pub in Edinburgh Scotland and I met my husband and to soon to be husband and I walked up to him and said hello and I ticked that thing off my list long before I ever thought I could do it so you weren't at your ideal size yet but you went for it anyway yeah there's think, a lesson there I think don't I think don't put is. off living just because you're not what you feel is perfect in your vision. Yeah, that's what I, that's what that's one of the best things I got from blogging is I started enjoying the journey, not just waiting till I got to the goal to be happy about it, but as I started to lose weight, I was still big, but I felt so positive and more confident in myself through through the writing that I thought, right, I'm going to go up to this guy, and and it worked out pretty well for me. It sure did. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. Thank you, Shauna Reed.